the aviation sector is equal parts passengers and freight transport woven into the socio-economic fabric. Today, mobility via air is the most efficient, fastest and safest means of transport over long distances compared to all other modes of transport, road and water. Looking back, air travel has been around for only a century, during which time it has undergone many shifts. Aviation players around the world have developed best practices and standards while facing the challenge of providing global citizens with access to flight services and driving globalization at an unprecedented pace. In recent years, high safety standards, technological innovation and the pursuit of efficient travel were key factors behind the success of the aviation industry. Increasing demand with the rising middle class and the digitization of the sector continued the great news for the ongoing connectivity revolution, which was fueling double-digit growth. Air mobility in 2019 reached local travel with air taxi prototypes, global travel with the longest non-stop flight connecting North America and Australia, and the use of advanced AI by air traffic controllers, among many other developments. However, this seminal show took a toll with the sprawling event of the COVID-19 pandemic. Rising infection rates and no vaccine in sight curtailed civil aviation, causing demand for international air travel to fall 76% and domestic air travel 49% below 2019 levels. IATA and many aviation stakeholders described the situation as catastrophic. As new variants imposed severe restrictions, the situation only became worse, resulting in staff layoffs and full-service airlines burning cash to keep their fleet out of service until further notice, targeting challenges such as hygiene and containment protocols at airports as well as sustainability and digital substitutes to corporate travel. But how will the future look like? The following five scenario narratives provide an outlook on plausible futures for the industry. Scenario 1. Flying back in time. Pre-pandemic business as usual. The way the aviation sector grows is reminiscent of the times pre-COVID-19. The achievement of global economic and geopolitical stability has been remarkable in recent years. Further stability in the spread of the disease has allowed the opening of borders, but the risk of new infections continues the need to monitor travelers. The industry is benefiting from increased travel, international trade, population growth and multiculturalism. This has allowed airlines to virtually fly back to pre-pandemic levels and achieve greater profitability through heavy investments in new technologies and the adoption of AI and blockchain to improve operational efficiency. However, the lack of system-wide rollout limits offering a frictionless travel experience for customers. Similarly, the race to succeed within the industry has resulted in underinvestment in renewable and green energy. As a result, aviation stakeholders are ready to optimize their activities to comply with environmental regulations but not exceed them. The otherwise decarbonizing world looks down on the airline industry for not trying hard. Now growing public concerns and the visible effects of climate change are brewing a storm for years to come, leading to a greater sense of urgency. Scenario 2. The future flies. The sky is the limit. Significant growth with open skies. The past two decades have been extremely productive for humanity as it overcomes one of the greatest setbacks in history. Having successfully dealt with the health crisis, world powers have consolidated and restored global economic growth. National cohesion and multiculturalism have combined to fuel population growth leading to a boom in demand for air travel that exceeds pre-COVID-19 levels. While there are advances in virtual communication, alternative transport arrangements for convenient short, medium and long-haul travel are niche solutions. The plane is still number one. In response to the 2019 health crisis, the industry invested heavily in automating on-site operations and improving hygiene standards throughout the customer journey. Additionally, industry-wide collaboration and alignment in the digitization and implementation of AI and blockchain have helped revolutionize operations. Sustainability is seen as a core competency and is on every agenda, leading to rapid cleantech innovation across the value chain. 
Scenario 3. Race for Zero. Achieving sustainable air travel. Air travel as a vector for green growth. A series of extreme weather events and rising sea levels displaced communities in the early 2030s. This inspired environmental activism and influenced risk perceptions among a wide range of people. Regulators around the world are acting as a driving force, agreeing and enforcing strong decarbonization policies and economic measures to promote renewable energy sources on a global scale. This regulatory and technology-driven transition goes hand-in-hand -hand with the sustainability-centric mindset of consumers. The proliferation and availability of multimodal options as sustainable long-haul alternatives connecting major cities across Europe and beyond have fueled demand for air travel. Continued technological innovation readiness and adoption reformed a holistic infrastructure upgrade from macro to micro levels. Improved accessibility to alternative green modes of transport integrated with the hub and spoke model paved the way for point-to-point -point connectivity for people and goods. In addition, the airline's race to be the most sustainable is fierce, creating demand for efficient, environmentally friendly and high-performing long- and medium-haul engines. Scenario 4. Survival of the fittest. FSC's global takeover. Through slot purchase, cabin flexibility and reimagination of the existing business model, full-service carriers fill up the void left by low-cost carriers bankruptcies. After an ongoing pandemic fueled by vaccine diplomacy and the mutating virus, the world has finally moved past a stretch of time they will happily forget. Normalcy is returning, with people eager to travel beyond their home cities and countries and re-experience the diverse global culture they sorely missed. In the long term, the effects of the crisis on the economy and psychology were irreversible. As a result, only full-service airlines survived, absorbing bankrupt low-cost carriers. The full-service airlines shelled out their deep pockets to buy most of the available airport slots as low-cost point-to-point services and alternatives eventually disappear, restricting travel between hubs around the world. New technologies to adapt to increasing health and safety regulations have been adopted by full-service airlines to introduce flexible cabin configurations in smaller single-aisle aircrafts. The business model of aviation is being retaught in large part as the demand for smaller jets and the need for sustainable short-haul travel has transformed electric jet startups into unicorns, specifically targeting corporate and business travelers. As a result, commercial air travel became too expensive for the majority of people. Scenario 5. Cold World. Deglobalization and fragmentation of air connectivity. Aviation has taken a regional aspect following the deglobalization trends. The acts of aggression and territorial disputes around the world have divided the geographical borders into resource trading blocks. The increasing nationalization has changed the global distribution of power, creating new powerful blocks and their dependence. Industries survive on the limited access to capital and both private and public sectors fail to invest in infrastructure and innovation. As a result, travel across borders is hand few, but intra blocks travel became the backbone of connectivity. The regionalization of mobility, coupled with a strong push for decarbonization in the geographical blocks, led to a rise in the use of alternative, more sustainable means of transport. Deprived of long-haul flights, the growth in air travel disappeared and a lack of financial capacity meant the aviation industry could not invest in sustainability and technologies like AI and blockchain, which even led to bans on air travel in certain blocks. <laughs>